start over here? Yes, yes, yes. We've brought uh, one small child mummy to be CT scanned here at Lankanon Medical Center. And we've also brought an adult female from a Hungarian crypt um, to be tested for the presence of possible H. pylori, which is a bug that occurs in the stomach and the intestinal tract and can lead to stomach cancer and ulcers. We're able to analyze the mummy without in any way damaging its delicate tissues. Now this is being done in order to assess age, look at growth and development, identify any disease processes that may be occurring, and potentially even estimate the cause of death. They were able to feed a small wire down with a grip at the end that they could take a small sample of tissue in the claw and bring it back out. So what we will then do is take that sample and prepare it to look under a microscope. Wow. One of the most amazing things about mummies is it's, it's a story of ourselves. These are, um, these are the remains of, of individuals. These tell stories. They're very personal uh, and have a real power to really engage people in science in a very new way. Within a few moments, we're able to scan the entire mummy's body, literally taking thousands of images, and then reconstruct these into pictures in multiple planes and in multiple angles. We know that the body itself is about 600 years old. He's a child from South America, probably Peru. And so we need to learn more about him. People see a mummy, but they don't realize just how much they can tell us. It's that little snapshot in time. I can imagine how that person lived, who they were, how they lived, how healthy they were, what they were eating. All of those things the mummy can tell us through these analyses.